Alrighty, so this is kind of a impromptu kind of video. It's, I don't know, 7.30 p.m. on a Tuesday night. Um, but I saw one TikTok about this over the weekend, and it made me laugh. And it was kind of a journey for me to find it, but this Blu-ray. And I, I thought it was DVD Blu-ray. It's specifically the Blu-ray for this movie has for whatever reason jumped up to pretty high prices. Um, I guess I say for whatever reason, um, as you can see here, 20 days later, apparently it's out of print and it's not available on video on demand anywhere. So when I saw that TikTok, I was like, I know I own this movie on Blu-ray, but I remember I don't have the original case for it. I have a, <clears throat> um, like a blockbuster case or something. It's, it's a black case with no cover. And I kept looking through my movies. I was like, no way, no way did I lose it. And then I looked through my DVD pile and it was in there. It was here. Um, the case for this is for a movie fat run, fat boy run, but I have the 28 days later Blu-ray and it made me laugh because as you'll see here, Disney lost the rights to the independently financed original film with them now only owning the rights to the Searchlight Finance sequel 28 weeks later. That is why you can't find it on streaming sites and why the Blu-ray disc is out of print. Um, I don't... I'd like to see more... What is this? So this is from... Earlier this month, after losing four bids on eBay, I finally found one on eBay. <laughs> oh, a rights issue. Interesting. I wonder if it will eventually get solved and all these people who, you know, and mind you, okay. So this goes back to my video um, where I said physical media is being targeted and people, I mean, maybe it's like one guy, I can't remember. I'd have to look at the comments again. One guy was like, you're fear mongering. Like, oh, like, you know, you're, you're a baiter, you know, you're just baiting people into fear mongering. Um, hmm. I mean, take a look here. They want to get rid of physical media. And they want, you know, streaming, streaming, streaming. And then it's it's always a rights issue. And like I said in that video, with the whole PlayStation being like, hey, all that stuff you bought digitally, gone. And then so many people got pissed off. They're like, oh, you know, JK, we're, we're leaving it. Um, this. It's not anywhere to find. And the physical disc is out of print. How do you watch it? You know what this makes people do? Pirate. Do I say that I condone it? I mean, I guess not. But what, like, what do people do in this case? Like for me, like if, if my friends were like, I really want to watch 28 days later but I can't find it anywhere and I can't find it to buy anywhere either, you know, like for a good price. It's like, well, I mean, I guess I could have everyone come over and watch it with me, but you know, I'd be like, use other methods, man. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. It's that whole thing you see where it's like, and I wish I could find the exact quote where it says, uh, if, if buying isn't owning, then piracy is not stealing basically, you know, and it just made me, hold on. Okay. Let me pull it up. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. So I think this is the DVD. You'll see the DVDs are selling for 20 bucks, whatever the Blu-rays $100 Goodwill, Goodwill book work, Austin works, Austin. I think that's Goodwill. So on top of Goodwill and 
all that tangent. 100 bucks. 150. 90 dollars. Well, there you go. 25 on what not. I don't know what that is. 115. 135. 5 bucks for just a DVD. 160. 160. What is that? Brand new sealed. Whoa. $380 for the steelbook? DVD. See, DVD is like 26, 26. And then it just, the Blu rays just shoot up like crazy. 28 weeks later is fine. You can, there's no trouble buying that. It's just 28 days later. It's just crazy to me, like, how I don't, I don't even know where it started from, but it just became so rare. And it makes me think of these original, and mind you, maybe it is specific to this because of a rights issue, but I mean, I have, when I think about Blu-rays I bought forever ago, I mean, District 9, um, Zombieland, The Thing, God, there's a lot more. I have like, when I look at my Blu-ray thing, my movies, I know kind of which ones I bought forever ago, but I do not spend a hundred dollars to buy 28 days later. You're, it's a great movie. Don't get me wrong, but you're just falling for the nasty scalpers, you know, like, uh, 28 days later on Blu-ray, I think my mom bought it for me when I was in middle school, early high school for like 15 bucks, 20 bucks. This is just kind of gross seeing this like, I mean, you know, it's the whole supply and demand, but it's just nasty. I hate seeing it. I mean, I went on Amazon to look for a movie called From Beyond and they were selling it for like 150 bucks nonstop. I'd have to see it now, but they wouldn't stop. You know what? Let me see. I think it's on Blu-ray. Okay. Looks like it's gone down significantly. Forever, it was like 150 bucks. 30 bucks, that's not bad. I don't know what happened, but so hopefully with this, same thing goes down. But this right here goes to show you why the push to digital, no physical streaming stuff, I just don't like, you know? And, um, you know, hey, I mean, shit, if you guys, if this code works, it works. But this, I can buy a Blu-ray movie. I mean, this is for Run, Fat Boy Run. Not, even, I don't even have, I don't think the physical disc anymore. But nowadays, I can buy a Blu-ray. It comes with the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital code. So that's my best option. Also, most of my movies, I can just record and put it as on like a backup hard drive for myself in case something ever happens. Either way, if something happens to my, those my physical movies, I have them backed up. If the backups happen. I have my movies. And so I've I've got a good plan going. It's just a little sad to me that it's I just I can sense this situation happening a little bit more and more. Now mind you, this is like the first situation I've kind of heard of first of a few. Um but you know who who's to stop like and I mentioned this in my last video, so I don't want to keep just parroting what I said in my last video, but basically, you know, Releasing on digital first, waiting two, three months to release on physical so that everyone just buys it on digital, doesn't buy on physical, then they can say, oh my God, look, you know, look how our stuff doesn't sell. Bam. Stop doing it. But yeah, if you got 28 days later on Blu-ray and you, I guess if you feel like making some money, go ahead. Uh, if that's your only copy, I would highly recommend not doing that. That is my only copy. I'm not selling that. And I bet you I could go into my vintage stock or CDR, previously FYE, whatever. And I wonder if I could find it on Blu-ray. And they've already, they already know about this and they're going to mark it up. So, yeah, I guess as always, 
thank you for watching. This was just a quick thing I want to talk about. So, oh, um, I have a Dark Horse branded Mass Effect Sovereign Reaper statue coming. Hopefully within the next week. Um, it's not the 14 inch statue with the base. It's just an 8 inch version. It is painted, not the silver one. So I'll be reviewing that. I think, I feel like there's something else, but I'd have to look. So as always, thank you for watching. I'm out.